Hi everybody, this is Kathy. Welcome back to my channel, Kathy's Favorite Things. You guys, I am super excited. I'm gonna show you how to curl the mesh tube that we buy from Dollar Tree. I love this thing. I craft with it all the time. I buy it every time I see it at Dollar Tree. And this is a way that I um, been curling it and I think it's an awesome idea. It's great for your projects, especially for like, you know, now that it's summertime or even for Halloween or Christmas. Well, I just think it was a great idea and I just wanted to share it with you. And so let's get to it. And I did recently um, uploaded a video where I was showing you the tassels, the tiny tassels that I made. And this is how the tubing looks when it's curled and it's so pretty and look it's even like a holographic so so pretty so if you guys want to make some tassels like that or if you want to use them for some other things i'll show you how to do this okay so again this is the mesh tube you buy from dollar tree and i have some other colors as well but we will work with the pink because this is what i use for the tiny tassel that i just show you here okay so this is your tubing, so let's just get one piece of it. And I did cut them all about um, a little bit over 20 inches, okay? And so let's get this one here. And I have been using this chopsticks that I have here at home. And you just need chopstick and you need some aluminum foil and your toaster oven, okay? Or your regular oven if you want you know if you want to make a lot of them at the same time but you know i don't really make too many so i just use my toaster oven which is super strong so that's all i need so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start wrapping your um, mesh tube around your chopstick like so uh if you want it to be like super curly and super like uh close together then you have to make sure you do it super tight but if you want your um your curls to be not too tight then you need to wrap it up when you're wrapping it around your chopstick then do it loosely okay that's what i have discovered because i've done a few and you know i think that if you're gonna use it for like a tassel and if you want it to be like the one that I show you, like the one I have next to my hand here, you need to wrap it loosely, okay? Not too tight because I will show you how it comes up when you do it too tight. Because I have, like I said, I've done this a few times and I was, you know, just practicing. So you're going to wrap it like that. You have your aluminum foil here and you're just going to just wrap it in the aluminum foil like so. And now this is going to go in your toaster oven, okay? And for 15 minutes in uh, 350 degrees, you're going to bake it, okay? And now let me show you this one. So this one, I wrapped it around loosely. See, they're more like the curls are long, you know, they're like bigger, they're separated, they're not too close together. This one's here, I wrapped it like closely around the chopstick. So this is kind of, they're closed together. See, I mean, you can pull it, and loosen, you know, loosen them up if you pull them. But that's how it looks if you do it tighter together. But look how beautiful this is. And I've been making a lot of projects with this. You can even turn this in like those um, uh, things that like they sell at Dollar Tree. You know, they sell like the sh uh, heart shape or whatever you can put a wire in in the middle of it and shape it the way you want but yeah so this is how you um 
do the uh, the coiling part, you know? Super cool. I think it's super pretty. So now let's put it in the toaster oven and then we'll see how it comes up, okay? So come with me, you guys. Okay, you guys, so we took this out of the oven after 15 minutes at 350 degrees. And now let's open them and see how they came out. You guys, I'm so excited. I hope you like this idea. I think it's awesome. And look, look how beautiful it looks. Again, let me show you, let me show you. This is what you started with, the mesh tube from Dollar Tree. And this is in pink and it has like a holographic effect. And now you wrapped it around your chopstick and look, look you guys. Oh my goodness. OMG. Isn't this game changer, you guys? I think you're going to love this idea. I cannot wait to see what you make with this. I am loving it in tassels and in all sorts of different things for summer. Look, I have another one here, look. And it comes out super easily out with your chopstick and look, see? Oh my goodness, look. Oh, they look so beautiful. Okay, okay, look, let's see the other one. I did three, I usually do, um, you know, a few. I just wanted to I just wanted to make three this time just to show you um, how they look. See? Now let me grab my scissors because here um, see how at the end it usually comes up like this and so now you just cut it you know and now it looks like finished. Same thing on the other side, just cut it. And now it looks much, much better, see? So you have to do that in all the, um, in both sides, just cut it carefully. And now it's perfect, see? That one is not cut and you can see that looks unfinished, but just trim it, you know, just cut the end a little bit again with your scissor and that's it. And now you can use it to decorate um, anything you want or like I said, you know, making tassels. It's beautiful, look. And this ones, I wrapped them loosely, so that's why they look pretty like this. Because when you do it too tight, this is how they look, see? So that's the difference, you guys. And I did already talk about this, but I wanted to show you again. And it's just beautiful anyway. I hope you like this idea. Let me know what you think. I hope you like it and you use it in your crafting, okay? I'd love to see what you make. So if you make something, make sure you tag me, okay? Thank you, everybody, for watching. Have a great day. I love you guys. Bye-bye.